Where did that cockroach go? What? Ah! Firestorm free running and acrobatics. My name is Justin Taylor and today we are going to be working on the cockroach. All right, so the cockroach is what leads into your backdrop. Your backdrop is the primary thing you are doing as you hit the trampoline when you want to do wall tramp. So not only is it really cool for bed tricks, it is your introduction to wall trampoline. If you want to be able to run up that wall and do tricks, you have to have a good landing position and takeoff position from the trampoline bed. And through that, that is our cockroach and our backdrop. Pretty much one and the same thing. Our cockroach is our drill we're gonna be doing today. And a cockroach is the guy you just saw. I'm laying on my back. And what I'm learning to do here is to build power upwards without, you know, flailing and going all over the place. And, ah! I'm learning to control and build power. And then from there, be able to manipulate my body in the air. So let's really bake, uh, bake. We're gonna, we're gonna bake stuff in an oven. Yeah, we're gonna break down our backdrop. I lied, we're gonna break down the cockroach because that comes before the backdrop. So here we are in our cockroach position. And like I said, we're trying to build power and get ourselves off. A few weeks ago, we went over our table drop position. When we did the table drop, the goal was to bounce our hands and our knees off the ground while keeping our back flat. We weren't trying to go up or down or anything, uh, tilting ourselves, we were just trying to bounce up and down while keeping our body flat. We're trying to do the same thing here. So in a cockroach, what we're trying to do is bounce our entire body off of the trampoline without sitting up or ah, rolling back because that'll lap you on your head and that's, that's no good at all. So when we do this, there's a couple things we wanna keep in mind. If we're bouncing up and down and smacking the back of our head, it's not gonna feel good. So you're gonna kinda of round your shoulders up right here to support your neck, and you're gonna pull your head up like this. Now when I bounce, I'm not smacking the back of my head, or as many of you will uh, learn, you can get tramp stamps on the back of your head, and that's where it rubs enough. You start to lose a little bit of hair there. No good, no good at all. So we wanna keep ourselves rounded up here. We wanna do the same thing using our low abs. We don't want legs out here with our butt on the ground. We want to, woo, round that butt up. A good way to know you're doing it right is, don't laugh, knees over your nipples, okay? You want your knees over your nipples. If my feet are out here, the further I stick this weight, you'll notice the more I'm rolling up without even trying. I don't want to roll forward, I wanna go straight up and down, so I have to pull these big heavy weights over towards the center of my body to keep that weight in the center of my body, not on one side or the other where it's gonna tip me over. So when I do this, I pull my knees up over my nipples. That gets my low butt off the ground and lines my legs and my weight up. From here, I'm keeping my feet up. And what I'm trying to do here is extend my leg just a little bit here. You can see me starting to bounce, but just like my table drop, I don't start my first bounce coming off the ground. Now, what I want you to notice while I'm doing this is look how little that pushes with my legs. It's like I'm extending my leg. It's not a bend the knee and kick. A kick, you can see, is pulling me that direction and I'm starting to sit up every time. We don't want that. We want to pretend like there's a big heavy weight here. Okay, if there's a big heavy weight on my feet, I'm not gonna go here and try to kick the weight up, right? I'm going to extend my legs and push that weight up. And that's what we wanna be doing. Now, as you start to get more and more power and go, you'll notice I have to counter it with my arms just a little bit because it is connected on this side of my body. And I want to keep this side of my body going as well. So I'm doing little pushes with my arms while I extend those legs right here. And now you can see my back's coming off the ground, but I'm landing flat. I'm not going here or backwards. I'm just going straight up and down. You have to build the power very slowly. Everyone tries to just shove and push. No, it's, it's very, I'm just pressing into the trampoline just a little bit, then a little bit more. It should take you a good solid 10 to 12 of these before you start getting off of the trampoline. That is our goal. If you try to rush through that, you're not gonna have control, you're gonna go all over the place. So remember, we're tensing up the neck, we're rounding in the hips, pretend like you're a, a 
dog and you're scared of something, you know, boop, pull that tail underneath. And here I got this nice little weird round position. I look like a turtle or something, I don't know. Turtle, turtle. And that's where you're extending the legs and pushing the arms from that position. Supporting the low body, keeping the balance of your weight right here in the center. Protecting the neck and protecting the low back, so everything's here. So eventually you'll be able to kick and push with your arms at the same time. Now, once you've got this one down, your goal should be able to get to the point where you can come off the bed by like six inches to a foot, at least 10 to 15 times in a row without shifting or twisting, you know, or going kind of bounce, bounce, bounce. What happens a lot is like a teeter-totter, people hit their butt and then their upper shoulders and then butt and shoulders, butt and shoulders nice and flat the whole time. When you have that down, we're gonna move on to our backdrops. And a backdrop is the same thing, but instead of starting in our cockroach position, we're gonna start standing, jump and land on our back, pop back up to our starting position on our feet. It's here, Whee! right to there. What this is, is how you're really gonna start using that control from before to build power to get yourself up and down your tramp wall. So, when we do this, I want you to think, imagine if this was not here. Um, how are we gonna do this thing? Ping pong. You guys all know what ping pong is, right? Boop, you hit the ball, it goes to the other side of the table, comes back. You ever see those people that play ping pong? Here's one half of the table, here's the other half, and they pull it up like this, and then they hit it, and they're just boop, and it hits the thing, and then comes back, and they're just practicing against themselves, against that wall, without another player. Same thing, but instead of jumping, backdrop, landing back on your feet, Halfway through that, you're hitting that vertical wall like the ping pong player. Bounce on your back, kick up halfway, you hit the wall, you go back down again. So we're gonna practice with our backdrop. Most people, this can be really scary. It's a very fun one and, and very easy once you get it down, people really enjoy it. But it is a little scary because you're jumping backwards and you can't see where you're going. And you don't wanna land wrong because the trampoline is gonna snap you back up. So what I recommend for most people, if you're a little worried at all, start with bent legs, just outside of shoulder width. Hands on your knees. I'm rounding my back, pushing my shoulders up into my neck so I've already got that head supported position. I'm going here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fall backwards with the tiniest jump. Fall backwards, boop, and I come back up. All I'm doing, I'm not changing my body position, I'm not throwing myself, I'm giving myself just a little bounce. Look, my feet are still on the trampoline. I haven't even come off the trampoline yet. So right here, fall back, come back up. Our goal will be to get to the point where we can stand up almost completely straight or all the way up. We go here, and for our backdrop, we're falling backwards and falling into that round position, pulling the shoulders in to support the neck and the head, pulling the chin down, squeezing the abs tight, pulling the hips underneath us. So when we land, boop, I'm already out there. The trick is that by the time you land, and like anything in life, these are the basics as you get more advanced. The things I tell you not to do, you'll start to implement, but you need to be able to do it correctly to get to that point. So for right now, what I want you to try to do is as you fall backwards, you're going to extend that leg, almost like you're kicking a little bit, and lock your legs out, and you're going to point them diagonally in front of you. Okay, what happens there is unlike our cockroach where our legs are straight up and down and over the center of our body to keep us up and down, as soon as I take a weight and stick it out diagonally in front of me, in this case, my legs, whoop, from here, as I kick, right, keeps me straight up and down, keeps my back flat. If I'm landing with that backdrop, I have all that power, I don't need to kick right now because I have the falling power to the trampoline. If my legs are here, as I bounce, the weight on this end is gonna cause me to tip in the air and that's what's gonna rotate me back to my feet. If I realize, oh, I'm doing it and I'm not gonna finish making the rotation, I just bend my legs and tuck. I'm a tighter ball, I start to rotate faster, I land on my feet. So we're coming here, very small. When we do this, we're always going back and then forwards. I am not trying to stay in the same place. You'll notice I'm in front of my line, so I'm not in the center of the trampoline. From here, I'm going to fall back, point the feet, pulls me right back up, right? <laughs> so, what we do want to do as we get more and more comfortable with this is when we land on our back, instead of keeping those legs straight, we're gonna have them already tucked in a, just a little bit, like this much. Squeeze really tight, because if we're loose, power goes everywhere. We're gonna squeeze tight, and as we hit the trampoline and start to bounce back up and be thrown by it, we're gonna kick those legs, just like we kick our cockroach straight up and down, and that's gonna produce additional power. So when I land, I can go here, and shoot up in the air, as opposed to if I do it with the same power but keep my legs straight, there. 
I can still do it, but now I have additional power to play with. Just make sure as you do this, ramp it up slowly. Power without control, it's just hitting the wall harder. All right, guys, you did a very good job. Eventually, we'll be taking this skill, and what we're gonna learn how to do is take it and transfer it to the wall. So, you're practicing the same thing we did just a second ago. Whee! Cockroaches. Yay! To any cockroaches watching this, I meant absolutely no offense. Uh, we are an equal opportunity employer. We love all of the interesting creatures on our planet, and when the nuclear war comes, and you're the only ones that are left and ruling over the left of humanity, just remember, I had only good things to say. Thank you, like, comment, subscribe, share, doing a little dance like you just don't care. But I do, or I wouldn't be here in the morning shooting tutorials. Discriminating against us roaches. Discriminating against roaches? No, 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 no. Don't act dumb. We all know that humans will kill roaches before they kill any other bug. That's facts. There's a fly on the wall over there that you saw three hours ago and you haven't gone for him yet, but as soon as I show up, it's all DEFCON 1 up in here.